Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to tell you about the very latest prefab home factory in America. It was just announced. The announcement of a new factory is always music to my ears because every week I see comments from people looking for a new home in insert any town USA. My first two questions when a new factory is announced is where is it and where will they deliver? Lately, it seems like a lot of the new factories are located in California, and if you guess that, you would be wrong. The company I'm talking about is Builtwise Structures with a brand new factory in the works. There are a couple moving parts with this one and a lot to cover, so let's get into it. It was announced last week that a new modular home factory is in the works for New Mexico, located in what was described as a massive, long shuttered building at a southeast aviation hub. Interesting. The factory is said to be located in Roswell, which looks to be about three hours southeast from Albuquerque. Has anyone else noticed how many of these factories are located at airports? I can think of two more off the top of my head. Tomu House and SRI Region in Lethbridge, Alberta. What gives? I guess it makes sense you got a big open space with doors that are wide enough for a plane, so should have no issue getting a house out. I don't know. The new modular home production facility is the result of a partnership between Turnkey Ventures and Builtwise Structures. And according to the news article that I read, they're planning to spend $11 million on the new manufacturing hub. No details on the partnership were released other than who's involved, so I really have no idea on who's bringing what to the deal. What I do know is they're planning to service New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and Colorado, a few highly requested locations in the comments. That covers the first two important questions. The third one people are likely looking to have answered is what are they building and maybe how can I get one? To answer that, the best place to start is with Builtwise Structures based out of Greenwood, South Carolina. Builtwise is capable of building single family homes, town homes, or multifamily homes, but their business model is different than most of the other companies I talk about on this channel. One of the things that I really enjoy about this industry is there are so many different ways to get the homes from the factory to the end user. Everyone seems to be doing things a little bit different and it keeps me on my toes trying to keep track of who's doing what. At one end of the spectrum, there are companies selling a kit of parts to be assembled by the buyer. At the other, there are companies doing fully turnkey homes, and then there's everything else in between. Builtwise falls into the everything else category, and I think it's an efficient approach that'll allow them to get more homes to market. The way they're going to get more homes to the market is by not selling to the people who want to buy which doesn't seem logical, but let me explain. Builtwise used to operate under the name Impreza Building Systems of Greenwood, but it's stated on their website that the name change reflects a new focus on directly serving mid-sized regional builders and developers. It says we strive to be the preferred private label wholesale source for offsite construction needs for homes, townhomes, and multifamily products. With our new name and branding, new models, new focus, and same incredible quality build product, we're excited to yada, 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 what does it all mean? What it means is I can't march into Buildwise and order one of their homes and expect them to deliver and set it up for me. They would likely direct me to one of their mid-sized regional builders in my area, if there were any, and then I would go through them to get a Buildwise home. The home would come with different branding or under a completely different name, but at the end of the day, it would be a Buildwise structure. By wholesaling to a network of mid-sized regional builders, they don't have to mess with any of the permitting, site prep, delivery, or installation of their homes and in theory that should allow them to just focus on building more homes. It makes sense. They focus on building the homes and I'm guessing the mid-sized regional builder handles everything after the home leaves the Builtwise property. This isn't exactly a new model. It's a spin on what a lot of the biggest builders in the country like Cavco, Champion and Clayton have been doing for years with their dealer networks but it's not quite the same. How this is different is they're a private label, meaning you aren't able to shop Builtwise branded homes from multiple different builders. For example, if I was a mid-sized regional builder, I could start Terry's Prefab Co and work with them on a line of homes specific to the market I wanna serve, and then I would build up my own brand for the business. From the outside looking in, you'd be choosing between a Clayton home and a Terry Prefab, not between a Clayton home and a Builtwise structure. Does that make sense? Right now, their website is showing that they service seven states, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and Texas. It's noted that they currently have a 240,000 square foot production facility and home production capacity of 500 plus homes per year, all out of the Greenwood factory in South Carolina. The new factory's output has not been added to the site, likely because it isn't producing any homes. So I guess even if they took the new factory's current output into consideration, the figure of 500 plus homes per year would still be correct. 
zero plus 500 homes per year, right? I like this business model because it gives builders and developers the ability to get into the modular world and brand their own homes without having to start their own factory. They're pumping $11 million into this place. I don't know about you, but I don't know many people with that kind of cheddar just laying around. Factories like this one allow companies into the industry without the massive upfront cost of a factory. Long story short, I could go to Builtwise with an idea and start Terry's Prefab Co get their wholesale pricing and be off to the races with my very own modular home company. Keep in mind that is the simplest explanation of what that would actually look like. It's going to be far more complicated in real life. It's noted on their website that to get the ball rolling you would have an initial discovery meeting to discuss the industry, products and pricing to see if you would be a good fit to work with each other but just so you know it's an option. It opens the door for more companies who want to get into the industry and I like that. Let's have a look at a few of their homes. Right now, Builtwise has three separate product lines, each with multiple different models. The first line is known as the Builtwise Standard Line, in which they've got single family, multifamily, and accessory dwelling units. Keep in mind, these designs are a place to start. If I wanted to get a custom design built for Terry's Prefab Co., it's absolutely possible. All I would have to do is come up with the idea, take it to their engineers, and they would let me know if it's possible. If it is, they would give me a price. It says the attached curated catalog showcases a range of pre-designed and modular optimized models that can be easily changed and ordered. Adapted roof lines, differing elevations, flipping orientation, and garage options, no problem. While this growing basic idea catalog provides a variety of options, it is not an exhaustive list, but rather intended to inspire new ideas. A perfect example of this is seen in one of their case studies. It was a custom home that ended up in their standard line called the Palmetto. They worked with a developer in South Carolina to build cottages to match an existing build on the property, and it looks really cool. I usually lean to a more modern look, but I like this cottage. It's got a covered porch in the whole bit. Inside the home, the main floor of the cottage is just under a thousand square feet, in which they've got two bedrooms and two bathrooms. The way they have this plan set up, you march up onto the front porch to the entrance and into the great room. The spare room is to the left of the entrance, kitchen is straight ahead, and the main bedroom is in the back corner off the kitchen. The main bedroom has an ensuite and the laundry room is right there nearby. From the great room, there's a spiral staircase to a loft which adds another 415 square feet. 415 plus 994 makes this a little over 1400 square feet. The Palmetto has now made its way into the standard line and is available to all the mid-sized regional builders, but it started out as a custom build for a customer who was trying to match a style they already had built. Another plan they're running that might be of interest is called the Stock Bridge. The Stock Bridge is 14 feet wide by 56 feet long for a total footprint of 784 square feet. It's noted that this home would be ideal for narrow or small lots or as an ADU. If you're wondering, I didn't draw these renderings by hand. I'm not really sure what's going on with these. I actually thought for a second that I could do a better job with this rendering by hand and, and this was the result. So, I was wrong. It sucks. The way this plan is set up, the entrance is on the front under a covered porch. Big porch people over there in South Carolina. The front door enters into the living room dining room with the kitchen at the very front of the home looking out towards the street. Heading towards the back of the home, they've got the larger of two bedrooms first, then the second is at the back of the home beside the bathroom. A two bedroom, one bathroom in 784 square feet. I should also point out that it looks like the home is set for a stacking washer dryer in the hall closet. This is usually the point in the video where I get into their pricing. However, since this is a completely different business model, they aren't available. So. There you go. Billwise is opening a new modular home factory in New Mexico with a B2B model that I think will allow them to scale quickly. I think this is a great idea that allows builders to get into the industry without the upfront cost of starting a factory. I am interested to see this one unfold, so I will be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.